Is your Disney Dreamlight Valley house looking a little bare? Are you struggling to know what to do with it? Then hopefully today's video will help you out because I'm gonna give you some interior design tips and tricks for decorating your home in Disney Dreamlight Valley. If you like the sound of that, don't forget to like the video. But without further ado, let's get into this. For number one, we're gonna talk about your storage room and this isn't so much a design tip, but more of a functionality tip. So save yourself a storage room on the bottom floor. As we know, there aren't many loading screens in this game, thanks to the open world concept. However, when you step inside your house, there is. So if you're like me and savvy with your time, then arrange your storage room to be easily accessible. I have just put down a whole bunch of chests here. I've got my DIY table here, my other big storage here as well. It just makes it so much easier for when I just need to run home and just drop off a whole bunch of stuff. So whatever you're planning to do with your home, just make sure you've thought about where you're gonna put your storage room and you've got space for it before you do go ahead and decorate. For number two, we're gonna talk about room sizes. When I first attempted to decorate my interiors, I thought I had to choose the biggest rooms because you know, there's that saying, biggest is always best. However, this does not apply here and you definitely don't have to follow that rule. Although the game has been out for a while, you may still not have a lot of furniture, let alone furniture that goes together nicely. So if you want to interior decorate, I would definitely recommend starting off small. If you change your mind at a later date, you can always change it. But honestly, I think having a mixture of room sizes will be nice, especially if you're looking for a cozy vibe to your house. For number three, we're gonna talk about planning ahead. There's two strands to this. The first being have an idea as to what you want your room to be. Maybe you want it to be something functional like a kitchen, a bedroom, a bathroom, that sort of thing. Maybe you want to decorate for a particular character using all of their furniture, or maybe you just want to do something that has a particular theme. That's fine too. But whatever it is you want to do with that one room, make sure you have an idea into your head as to where, what direction you're gonna go where you're going to go with it that should just help you and the second part of it is try and plan out what kind of furniture you're going to use there is so much furniture there is so many different things that you can use in this game and not all of it does go nicely together so I'm going to say if you have an idea as to what furniture looks good together and what kind of color scheme what kind of style you're going for this should definitely help you as well to make your room something that you are proud of and hopefully it will turn out beautifully for number four we're going to talk about making sections this is a great way to decorate no matter what game you're playing should you feel overwhelmed by a particular area so what you want to do is break down the space and decide which different area is going to have which different function or what you're going to decorate in that particular area so i brought you to my kitchen which i've done a modern take on very unusual for me but i was kind of inspired by a city loft and here you can see what i've done is i've put the kitchen area all in one corner we've got a little bit of a dining area in another corner and then we have some bookshelves in another corner and then along the wall we've got a little seating area as well so these are all kind of separate areas but together they do all cohesively go and make one whole room that does feel like it has a full function to it in at number five we're going to talk about adding details this is very similar to the process of layering in animal crossing so you've got to think about like putting things on top of things so tables countertops adding in some items there so for your kitchen you might want to put a little toaster on the side a little bowl of fruit there those sorts of things but additionally think about like what sort of smaller items will go nicely with the builds that you're doing so easy one for this is obviously a fireplace add in some stacked wood next to it also i want to say don't forget that you can drop down food items so if you've made something you can place it down so like birthday cake is a huge item which is definitely great to add into an area because it gives it some height so just think about what you're doing what you're putting down and how you can accentuate 
those particular areas. Um, books are a great one for scattering around. There is a cute little teddy bear um, that you can add as well. Just all of those small items, I definitely do encourage you to use and layer, add detail. Just, it will elevate your builds, trust me. For number six, we're gonna talk about functionality. So by this, what I mean is think about when you're building a room, what items will go in that room. This is particularly helpful if you don't know or you're struggling to know what items to put in a room. So for example, the bathroom, you will have a bathtub, a sink, maybe a mirror, some towels, a dressing robe. These are all things that will you'll find in a bathroom. The same applies for kitchen, having a dining table, a cooker, fridge, etc. May seem really, really basic, but if you are struggling, then this is definitely something that you can remember. And it definitely kind of ties into the idea of making sure that you're planning with what you're using and what furniture. For number seven, we're gonna talk about feature walls. Feature walls are a great way to kind of bring in that kind of main focal point for a room. And these can work definitely when you're decorating. There are some great bigger items in Disney Dreamlight Valley that you can use to make a feature wall of. Otherwise, remember that you have some really nice windows. The frozen ones are definitely my favorite. So if you want to have a focal point, then a window is also a great way to do that. Likewise, some of the art is definitely larger than others. So remember to use that. Bookcases, shelving, definitely utilize them as well. Just really make use of that wall space and fill it out to best you can. For number eight, we're gonna talk about color schemes. So color schemes are a surefire way for me to make a build look great. The nice thing about the search function on the inventory in your furniture section is that you can actually select a color or multiple colors, which is handy. So this room has yellow wallpaper. So if we select yellow, orange, brown, and then head back and then we should have all of the furniture that is in that particular color scheme so we can pick out which furniture we want to use to match into this room um i really think that this is an underutilized feature and i think it would work really nicely for when you're when it comes to building i think that it would just be so handy Either way, whatever you decide to do with your color, you can use this technique or just go off your own eye and trust your instincts as to what you think looks great. Then a color scheme, having a color scheme for a room is just perfect. It's a great idea. In end number nine, we're gonna talk about object heights, particularly the way that you kind of place your objects down. Think about them wisely. Always try and have the larger items at the back and then add in the small items nearer the front of the build because that way you're not hiding anything, you're kind of keeping everything flowing, adding in different heights and stuff can also help. So having some interest in the eye with different like tables, different chairs, things on the ground, don't forget to do that. So really think about it when you're placing things down. You don't want to hide anything, you want everything to be in full view. Okay, so number 10, this is the final tip. I just want to remind you guys that we are getting new furniture every day. There's gonna be new updates. There's gonna be new stuff in Scrooge's shop that you haven't bought yet and you might want to add into a build. Don't feel like everything that you build or decorate early on is permanent because it's not. The great thing about Disney Dreamlight Valley is that it's super quick to decorate. You can literally put something together in like five minutes and you've got a room done if you liked. Um, it's so quick and easy to do and you can always switch out items, change something around. It's so easy to do. So just because you're not happy with one particular build, I'm gonna say a large part of that is gonna be due to not having the right items. So if you feel at a later date you want to revisit something, please do just walk away from what you've built, come back and look at it another day and hopefully you'll fall in love with it, you'll have had some more inspiration, but just don't feel like it is a permanent build just because you do something once. So that's it, that's the end of the video. I hope you found these helpful. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comment below. And if you have any other tips, please share them with us. We love to hear them. Have a great rest of your day, bye-bye.